Saint LaSalle is the patron of teachers. The church named him patron because he and his brothers, and by extension, we LaSalleans, this is what we do. So we're always looking ahead in terms of how we can be innovators, how we can be on top of what's going to change. Oh, you gotta have a passion. I mean, I'm here for one reason, it's because I have fun. I love the aha moments. You know, that, that, that point where a student didn't quite get there and then all of a sudden it just clicks and they're like, oh, that's what happened. That, that to me is if I can have one of those a day, that's a win. St. Joe's teacher, if I could give one word to describe them, is dedication. Every teacher I have has a schedule on their board, hours, and it's 6.30 to 8 before school and 2.30 to 5.30, whatever you need after school. They're here for you all the time, and they care about, you know, whether you succeed or fail. The relationship piece is huge for me, so just, you know, walking to my car sometimes, I'll hear shouts from the field, students saying goodbye to me at the end of the day. Everybody here knows that, one, I'm on their team, you know, rooting for them, and two, that they have a place where they can go and, and ask for help and be successful. I, I think we care about the kids and we see where we can take them. That's the part that's kept me going for all these years is when you see the raw iron ore that you have in the beginning here and then you see that steel girder at the end here, you say, that's amazing here. In our rule, which is the kind of the tenants by which we the brothers live, it specifically states that we are to be the older brothers to our students. We are to act as older brothers to our students. And I think it helps improve our grades too, just knowing that we have someone we can go and talk to instead of just studying, 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 and then cramming for a test. We can go and talk to them and they can help us feel our way through the test, kind of. There's never a time where you say, this teacher won't help me with my work and I'm just like completely lost. I've had to do those things sometime to understand the material in classes and it works. Not knowing what I'm walking into every day sometimes is exciting because you just never know what challenges each day is going to bring and what kids are going to need from you that day and so whether it's just something simple like I lost my schedule or you know I need to rearrange my entire future I have to make a college deposit in a week and I don't know what to do you know I feel very honored to be able to work with the kids in that capacity. If you want students to succeed you need to set high expectations right away and I find that students will generally rise to the challenge the teachers like model uh, the interactions between the students and then therefore the students are able to kind of pick up on what is the correct way in which to discuss things. We've got a, a really rigorous program. It's challenging to the students and that's huge because if everything is easy and they just coast, then when they get to the next level and are challenged, they don't know how to meet that. So that's one thing I think we do exceptionally right now is they have to run the gauntlet to get out of here. All the teachers and faculty and coaches even, everyone pushes you to work hard for everything because nothing is handed to you. But as if you work hard, things will come. That's the exciting thing about what goes on here. I'm not in competition with any other high school, and I don't think we need to be. Our competition is every one of those boys, and do we provide for them what they need so that they can become the young men that they were intended to be.